The character of Strauss is uh, Rabbit, Rabbit, who's the lead character, his new psychic. He's his new recruit from straight out of college. He's as green as the grass and doesn't know much about policing, but is determined to find it all out very, very quickly. He's a sort of, he, there's an element of um, Dennis Waterman in the Sweeney mixed with Hugh Laurie in Blackadder. <laughs> you know, it's a combination of those two. And he's incredibly intense and well-meaning and um, wouldn't say boo to a goose, but is determined to stop crime uh, at any cost. <laughs> Do you know what? When I first read the scripts, I was I was away, and I and I and I I just I just auditioned like any other guy, any other guy, um, after a part. And you know, you get sent sides, and you get sent you know a little bit of the pilot, and you read it, and you think, well, this is funny, you know. But the, I, I I just it was just like any other job. And then it started to come alive for me when I got into the recall situation with Matt and with Ben, the director, and we started to improvise and, and play around and um, sort of chemistry read with different actors and actresses. Um, and then I suddenly realized what potential this had. It could have, I mean, it has the potential to be the greatest, funniest romp you know you can believe. And so I thought, oh my God, I've got to get this. So I sort of stepped up my game after that. <laughs> In terms of breaking down the character, I, I I sort of had very quickly in my head the two sort of, you know, the, the kind of image of him, the way he moved and, and how he held himself and where he, where his hands, where he'd hold his hands, where his posture was, how his feet were. I, it all came to me very, very quickly. I can't pretend that I sort of did immense amounts of research. I didn't. And in fact, as we got on set, the more sort of, you know, research you do off camera, the less the, the less useful that was when you got on set. What we needed to be was alive to the moment and open to change and quick and um, with alacrity, you know, alacrity of thought. And so in a funny way, after I got him and his kind of movement and the way he stood and his voice and, you know, his kind of attitude, his general attitude towards life, I, I kind of let, you know, chance do the rest. Because it's a comedy, you 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 know that it, it tends to move at a much quicker pace, and that's very exciting. It also breeds uh, the possibility of um, riffing, improvising, extending a line, throwing a new one in, giving another thought, going on a second take. Let's try it completely differently. Could we could we do another version where I do this, whatever? And you, it's it's less precious than drama in a funny way, even though it's as detailed and as focused. It somehow, yeah, because you know, it's people are laughing. It doesn't feel quite as precious, and I really appreciated that. I mean, Ben and the writers, uh, Andy and Kevin and Hannah, the producer, they they were all so uh, and Matt, obviously Matt, because you know he's got his fingers in all elements of the pie of this, you know, of this particular pie. Um, I, I I sort of just trusted them, really. I didn't ask to change very much. I, I don't think I had a chance, I almost asked to change anything. I seem to remember Matt saying at the beginning, do you know what's nice about this is that, you know, this is not a job where you have great responsibility other than to your character and to your, you know, the group, you know, the, the, the you know, you, me and Susie who are playing the other two lead parts. Other than to us and to yourself, you don't really have any responsibility outside of that other than to enjoy yourself. And if you enjoy yourself, we will see that and the chemistry will really read on camera and I think that's when the audience will have the best possible time. So. I just completely trusted them and I didn't, you know, overthink it, really. Film rehearsal is so unlike theatre rehearsal where, you know, theatre rehearsal, you know, you read it and then suddenly you're up and you're doing it and you're playing and you're practicing. With film and TV, you tend just to read it all through and we did alter a lot of lines at that time on the basis of what it sounded like in the read through and then played with it in rehearsal and Matt would say, I don't quite like that line, so we change it and I just sort of sat back and watched and enjoyed it. You know, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I come up with suggestions, but I didn't feel any, you know, I wasn't precious about, you know, whether people like my ideas or not. And um, so we sort of wangled it around over about two or three days and then dived in there knowing that there would be as much experimentation when we were on set as there was when we were in, uh, when we were in rehearsal. The purpose of the show is to entertain people and to take people out of, you know, London of 2019 and all the problems therein and put them back into Victorian London and completely give them an escapist laugh. And it's silly and it's fun and it's action packed and let them have that and let it just be that. And then on the other side, I can hear what Hannah and Ben would say and what I was probably would interpret from the scripts is that even though that is the main effort, there is also a lot of, 
you know, we're, 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 we're satirizing point, you know, current affairs today, empowerment of women and, you know, sort of, I suppose you could say toxic masculinity up to a point and, you know, um, corruption and all those things that we're playing with satirically and lightly, but still nonetheless having a jab and going, times then and times now are, are very, very different and um, we can look through our 21st century lens at, at that time and, and have a giggle at that, you know. So you see particularly through the female characters, Susie and, and, uh, and Keely, um, how they kind of rise to the fore, which is rather nice. The biggest highlight was that every day it was a pleasure. There were no, no, there was never a moment where I didn't feel comfortable or at home or happy or um, creatively fulfilled or, you know, riffing. I suppose probably if I were to be more specific, I got to play a Cockney gangster, which is probably not my obvious cast, um, but I got to do it and uh, with awesome togs on, and I thought this is great. <laughs> that was fun. And then my, uh, and then the most challenging thing I think was just keeping up. You know, everyone is so quick, and obviously Matt has this great comedy heritage, and Susie's a writer as well as a comic comedic actress, and Ben moves at such a pace. You, you know, it's just kind of kind of keeping up. And then I suppose trying not to corpse. That 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 was a that was a big challenge.